Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Alex Kazora. I'm recording this take a few days in advance, and with how quickly the NFL landscape changes, my commentary might feel a little stale by the time you listen, so my apologies in advance. But the NFL has taken an eternity to fill head coaching jobs, one of the longest timelines that I can remember. Even if jobs are filled by this Monday, it's still been a long and drawn-out process. Denver, Arizona, Houston, Carolina, Indy, taking their sweet time to choose their coach. I'm not saying it's a good or bad thing, but it's definitely a thing. I thought Sean Payton was the guy holding this whole process up, the domino that needed the fall, just like Aaron Rodgers was to the quarterback market last year and probably this year too. But Payton's prospects of getting a job seem to have decreased. Full disclosure, recording this two days in advance, so maybe he isn't the obstacle I thought he was. Now, there are other potential reasons. The league has put up more barriers to the interview process, and perhaps teams are being more diligent, trying to get it right with a bit less competition than past years when there were more openings. I totally get taking time to get the right guy. It's worth the extra week. But the Shrine and Senior Bowl are here, and every team with head coach and staff have a big jump on free agency and the offseason. Not only do these current teams have to hire a head coach, but they have to build out their coaching staff and then march on towards free agency, the draft, etc. It's a change of pace with pros and cons, and we'll see if this timeline becomes the norm or just a one-season, one-off. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with myself and Dave Bryan every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.